So the first example that I want to talk about is Kevin Peterson. When Kevin Peterson began his career as a young man in his early 20s, playing in the late 1990s, he was considered primarily an off-spin bowler and a bit of a late-order slogger. Someone who would bat at 7 or 8, bowl plenty of overs, and then would come in at the very end of an innings, bash a few quick boundaries, and then throw his wicket away. And so, in his early career, he was batting it down the order, and he was given the ball a lot. And he took a few, plenty of wickets in that role, but over the course of up to the age of 25, he transformed his technique in his batting, built up a really good defense, built up a proper range of stroke play, was no longer just a slogger, until the point where he became a upper order batsman in first class cricket, at which point he got into the English one day in English test teams as primarily a batsman and it eventually reached the point where Peterson was effectively not bowling at all. He might have bowled one spell per calendar year and taken one wicket or zero wickets through most of his career over the course of year by year and he was primarily an upper order batsman batting at five or four scoring plenty of test centuries and plenty of test 50s so he was primarily a batsman and bowling just disappeared entirely from his career and so if you look at it, the number of first class wickets he ever has taken in his career almost all of them were taken in the first five years of his career and none effectively were taken through the next ten years of his career so a dramatic change where he became a very competent, solid, uh, partnership building, controlling batsman, worthy of being in the middle order or the upper order of an English test team.